Hello guys, uh, well here. So um, I got some news for you from uh, Dr. Canavero. Um, first of all, I want to mention that I am not in any way involved in the hair transplant project anymore. But uh, I'm still curious on how things go and um, you know, I dedicated about two years of my life to the project. I uh, did public relations, I did uh, various uh, interviews, I explained to people why uh, it is important to perform uh, this uh, research. Uh, so, um, it looks like Dr. Canavero has some uh, achievements, he has some news he would like to share with us. Uh, apparently he wanted to uh, tell me uh, the news uh, first as I am uh, a person who uh, cooperated with him during this project. So I believe that uh, right now I can only speculate what this news can be. I can tell that I would like to see there. I can tell that uh, um, what are my expectations and what are my um, relatively fair uh, vision of uh, what this can be. Um, okay, first of all, uh, we lacked, uh, we were lacking um, some serious proofs that technology work. We were lacking uh, long living animals who survived the surgery uh, so I believe that um, right now uh, there are two options uh, which Canavero can uh, present to public which will be uh, sufficient to uh, tell that uh, the research goes the right way so uh, the first the first option is uh, we can observe the video of uh, an animal with relatively good uh, coordination of a new body after a uh, head transplant is performed. Uh, before we, we were um, seeing videos with the rats, uh, with the rats whose spinal cord was damaged and later it was fused back again and uh, they they seemed like they were trying to move but their movements were not coordinated uh, were not um, uh, some directional moves like they were understanding what they do and what they want to do uh, they just were like uh, moving their paws and trying to uh, understand what's going on so if if we can see any video where a subject with a damaged spinal cord uh, is getting moving abilities again predictable moving intentional moving uh, then we can say that uh, this is a success um, of course, the second uh, and the, the most significant option is uh, uh, is the time that uh, the patient survive. I mean, the rat or mammal or um, anyone we can see uh, on, on the Canaveros uh, announcement. So um, previously, the rats and monkeys they were not living long enough after the surgery uh, the longest animal lived for about uh, seven days it was uh, during dr white experiments about 40 years ago uh, so i believe that right now we need a proof that uh, technology is uh, evolving the right way uh, and the proof is that uh, we see the animal lives uh, long enough after the surgery uh, how long? It depends on uh, your expectations. Uh, uh, I, I believe we can uh, we can discuss the amount of success after at least few weeks after the surgery. So uh, if if animal survives and lives 
uh, several weeks, months, or more, then of course it will be a huge success. Otherwise, um, uh, I don't have any predictions, I don't have any other uh, knowledge what can we uh, see, what can we uh, meet in this announcement, in this press release. Uh, but I hope it will be interesting to read, and it will be uh, something uh, meaningful and important for uh, paraplegic, for uh, disabled people all over the world. So, uh, please stay tuned, subscribe, uh, hit like, uh, I will share the information with you as soon as I get it. Thank you.